two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. A person who would light up the room with just one joke. That is exactly who Robin Williams was, a master at his craft. Williams was an individual who brought smiles to everyone's face. I think the saddest people try their hardest to make people happy because they know what it's like to feel worthless and don't want them to feel like that. However, with all the laughter he brought to people and all the smiles he put on others, Williams was battling an inner demon that not many people knew about, depression. Williams spent time bringing joy to his fans only to cover up his personal problems away from the public eye. Born on July 21, 1951, Williams was the only child to his parents. His parents came from wealthy families, and growing up, Robin was surrounded by wealth and privilege too. However, he did not get much attention while growing up, as he was raised mostly by his maid. Robin was described as a short, shy, and introverted kid, and while he was growing up in a big house, he did not have much happiness. He was often alone, and would communicate more with the maids around the house than with his own parents, as they were often working. The only friends Robin had while growing up were just in his imagination, since he was very, very shy, which made it hard for him to develop real friendships. The chronic loneliness led Robin into a deep depression, something he was faced with for the rest of his life. Robin found comedy as a defense mechanism. He overcame his shyness by joining the drama club. Soon enough, Robin became the most popular guy in school, always telling jokes and making his peers laugh. He eventually was known as the class clown. He then went to San Francisco to pursue his career in stand-up comedy. Robin was on the rise to fame, and he was about to become the new face of Hollywood. However, no one knew the serious problems Robin was facing, as he would always appear with a smile. After his death, everyone began to ask what led to Robin's depression. Williams' big break came when he played an alien named Mork on an episode of Happy Days, which would lead him to getting his own spin-off series, Mork and Mindy, in 1978. Fans loved the manic, free-associating character that Robin played, and in a blink of an eye, he was an overnight sensation. However, behind his rise to fame, Robin began abusing drugs and became addicted to cocaine in the 70s. Williams' name became more prominent and in the spotlight due to his starring roles in his critically acclaimed success in the movie The World According to Garp in 1982, and his first Oscar nomination as Best Actor in Good Morning Vietnam in 1987. He was on top of the world. However, behind the scenes, Robin could not help but fall further into the use of alcohol and drugs. This caused him to fall into a downward spiral whenever he would get off the stage. Robin vowed to change his life and sober up. After a few years of sobriety, Robin would go and star in movies such as Good Morning Vietnam and In Dead Poets Society and then went on to win his first Oscar award for Best Actor in a supporting role for the movie Good Will Hunting in 1998. Williams always insisted that film companies hire homeless people if they wanted to sign him. His life was cut short, but he showed us that even when you are struggling, you can improve so many lives. Things were looking good for Williams, however, behind closed doors, Williams was in a very dark place as he was dealing with major depression. Many close to Robin knew how bad he was struggling with depression, but he refused to let the public eye see what he was going through. In Robin's last few months, he showed no signs of committing suicide. However, Robin's wife, Susan Schneider, was concerned about her husband's health in 2011. When the doctors revealed that Robin was suffering from Lou body dementia, which causes a progressive decline in mental abilities. Williams hit a standstill when his new TV show, The Crazy Ones, was canceled after just one season in May of 2014. He orbited the sun, but always with humanity, crusading for us all. Though Williams made us all laugh, he struggled with demons and depression, and the Academy Award-winning actor ultimately met a tragic end. He taught us so much, but one of his greatest lessons was of loss. Don't take anyone or anything for granted, but live for love and never forget to love life.
There are so many people spreading negativity in the world when we should be filling it with love. After all, if a man who committed suicide after years of suffering from depression and many other mental illnesses can speak of how beautiful the world is, how hard can it be for us? His legacy will always live on. After all, he's making the angels laugh their halos off right now. Oh, Captain, my Captain, you will always and forever be in our hearts.